Want to be good at poker but don't want to study? Want to crush your buddy's home game but you ain't got no discipline? Want to make fat stacks but you can't tell the difference between trips and a set? Well, ain't gonna happen. You suck. I got the next best thing. What's up y'all, it's your boy G Money and welcome to my masterclass. How to look like you know what you're doing at poker without really knowing what you're doing at poker. Step number one is your fit. Yo, it's mad easy and anyone can do this. Sunglasses, a must. Hoodie, paramount. If either a poker themed, bonus. Shout out to my boy Greg goes all in for the merch, link in the description below. Now, are live tells overrated? Yes. Are you making the game bad by looking like you take this shit too seriously? Yes. Is anyone in your two cent, five cent game even observant enough to look for live tells? Hell no. Do you look G in your Walmart hoodie though? Hell yeah. Now the next step is poker chip tricks. Now it's gonna take a while to master shuffling poker chips. In fact, it might even take hours. Hours that you could be using to study poker or read poker books, but are you a literate donkey's gonna do that? Fuck no. But hey, listen, if you can't shuffle poker chips, that's okay. I got some easy alternatives for you. The thumb flick. The leapfrog. The if it sounds like shuffling, it is shuffling. The twirler. The double twirler. The triple twirler and the juggler. Nice. Now the last step of how to look like you know what you're doing at poker without really knowing what you're doing at poker is the vocabulary. To sound like the real deal, you just gotta drop in some of these keywords into your conversations. You don't even need to know what these words mean. Frankly, the donkey friends you surround yourself with probably don't even know either, so it don't matter. Anyway, just drop in words like nutted, backdoor flush, rail, Grinding, dominated. For example, Ayo, I was grinding so hard last night, I was completely dominating this guy, especially when I nutted all over his back door flush. And the best part is, all my boys were railing me, bro. Railing me, bro. Yo, if that don't get you respect at the table, I don't know what does. Yo, I've been G Money, and this was how to look like you know what you're doing at poker without really knowing what you're doing at poker. Make sure you subscribe and follow to check out my next video, how to fit it in with all the other boys when you're not really like all the other boys. What did y'all think the G and G money stood for?